I'm very used to living with a bunch of people all the time. I don't like being alone. <laughs> I don't open up very quickly to people. I am very much a people person and I love to be constantly surrounded by people. You're so close to 70 people all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Living with a lot of people at one time definitely has its ups and downs. Something that is both a blessing and a challenge is the contagiousness of energy in this space. Sometimes you don't realize why you're feeling off and you realize it because of every single person around you. You can't really help it, but you then like absorb that energy. It's a real process to like be solidly in my own emotion. You gotta find that balance between socializing and going and doing your own thing. Having alone time and knowing yourself enough to know when you need to go take a minute and not like freak out at someone um, is really important. If you need personal space, which I know I do, I'm hugely introverted and I'm not able to be creative if I don't have alone time. Um, you have to seek that out though. Nobody's gonna tell you a quiet space. And if you find a quiet space, don't tell anybody about it. Communal living is just beautiful for the fact that you always have someone around you to talk about whatever you want. No matter what my situation is, no matter what ways I'm struggling, I know that there's at least a few who are going through the same thing so I can talk to those people. People are always the most powerful part of anywhere you go. You should utilize meeting as many beautiful people that you have here, you know, enjoying that time with them. To be able to find the right people in the right place and recognizing that living in a community is even greater than anything I ever thought it could be. Just come into this experience being whoever you want to be, wearing what you want to wear, speaking how you want to speak, um, because everyone here really does just encourage you to be that authentic version of yourself. And then you get here and you don't have a choice but to be vulnerable. And the crazy part is how intense the relationships have been that I've formed here. And that's shocking consider how, considering how short of a time it's been. And in my 22 years, I can say that I have the closest relationships probably I've ever had. It's not easy, but it's, you know, we'll take these lessons with us for the rest of our lives, so it's really cool.